So this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Trudane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh, ooh. You must be Princess Medea! Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey! What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley! Oh! Aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, Anything! <laughs> that brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob! It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. The ring. You still have the ring, don't you? The one that belonged to your father. If you have it with you, go and show it to King Clavius. If he knew you were his nephew, he might just change his mind about this ridiculous marriage. Go and find him at the Lord High Priest's place and see what he says. It has to be worth a try.
Ah, it's you. Yes, I remember. You are the adventurer I gave the royal magic mirror to some time ago. What brings you here tonight? You look like you have something important to tell me. That ring. It's set with an argon heart. How on earth did you acquire it? Hmm. I must admit that your tale is enough to give even me pause. It sounds as if you truly are Eltrio's son. How else could you possibly know all the things you just told me? Hmm. If my brother had not left his country behind to go after your mother, he would be king of Argonia now. And if you had been born a prince, then I suppose it would be you marrying Princess Medea tomorrow. But those are just what-ifs. Were a new heir to appear out of nowhere, the whole country would be plunged into confusion. You do understand that. I doubt that was your intention, however. But what do you mean by bringing this ring to me now? That Charmos is not worthy to wed Princess Medea? I grant you he is immature and foolhardy at times. But as his father, I want to see him happily married to a good woman. I am told that you have been a close friend of the princess since childhood. Do you perhaps have feelings for her? I see. Then could it be that you seek her hand in marriage? Hmm. If you will indulge me, I shall tell you a story about Charmel's grandsire, my father, when he was a young prince. During his travels around the world, he met the young princess of Trodane, and they fell in love. Unfortunately for the young couple, however, relations between Argonia and Trodane were strained at the time and my father's hopes of marrying the princess were dashed by staunch opposition from both royal families. As they could not be together, the couple vowed that their unborn children would one day marry instead, to fulfill the promise of their love and forge a bond between the two lands. As it turned out, however, both my father and the princess of Trodane were blessed with sons, and they passed away without ever seeing their dream realized. So it became my wish to keep the vow they made to each other. That is why I proposed a match between Charmels and Princess Medea. Having sought King Trode's blessing, I cannot now simply change my mind, and even if I could, I would not willingly let my father down. I dare say you do not like my decision, but at least you understand it. That is all. You may leave.
eyes and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. We thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's Bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. What a crowd! I can't see a thing from here! What's going on? Has it already started? People are saying that the bride looks stunning! I wish I was more like her! I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom, but it's impossible to see anything from here! <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. <clears throat> well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight.
What? Yes! <laughs> you leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What's taking her so long? Hmm? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once! Wait! That will not be necessary. He has a right to be at this ceremony. I... I have reconsidered. You are the rightful groom. <gasps> Father! How can you say such a thing? I'm the rightful groom! Yesterday evening, the boy you see standing there gave me this ring. What's that? Is it an Argon ring? I don't understand. Only members of the royal family who've passed the initiation should have a ring like that. This ring belonged to my elder brother. It was Eltrio's ring. That boy is his son. It is only right that he should be the one to marry Princess Medea. No! I won't allow it! Princess Medea is promised to me, so I'm the one who's going to be marrying her! <coughs> Pardon me for interrupting you, Majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. Open the doors! Allow the bride to enter!
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. How curious to think that you would have been Prince of Argonia had things been different. <laughs> Fate deals strange hands indeed. Well, poo to those old promises made so many years ago. Now you two are free to decide your own destiny. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for good. Good goddess! You mean to say some other woman stands higher in your affections? Someone you care about enough to wish to marry? Then what are you playing at, boy? If your affections lie elsewhere, why in the world are you causing trouble between Charles and Medea? Do you not understand the implications of your actions? With this ring, you are claiming to be the son of my brother Eltrio, my elder brother. Don't you see? That gives you the right to take Princess Medea's hand in marriage. Tell me. What do you think would happen if word got out that you objected to the union of Charmels and Medea? It wouldn't end with the wedding's cancellation, nor even Argonia's humiliation, I assure you. No, it would inevitably lead to a dispute over who is the rightful heir to the throne. Have you any conception how ruinous your artless meddling could prove? I have nothing more to say to you. Leave! Ah, there you are, my boy. <clears throat> I confess I am privy to what you and King Clavius just discussed. Now I do understand how you feel, but this is a match the two royal families have planned for many years. I'm afraid you've said rather too much on this occasion. Most unlike you. Uh, never fear, however. I shall apologize to the king on your behalf. Now hurry along back to the inn.
Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. Look who it is. I was beginning to wonder if you'd left us for good. You seemed ready to throw in the towel when you got back yesterday. Better now, though, I see. Anyway, it looks like the ceremony... And there are so many people, I doubt anyone could do anything, even if they wanted to. By the way, you haven't seen Jessica, have you? The princess summoned her yesterday, and no one seems to have seen her since. It would have been about the same time you came back. I don't suppose you bumped into her, did you? I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom, but it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, 
Hey, stop pushing! There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. Well, we've got this far. Now, we just have to take care of that knight. What? Yeah! Oh. You leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What could possibly be taking her so long? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once! Wait! That will not be necessary. Last night, I had a long conversation with King Trode. After much discussion, we have decided to break off the engagement between you and Princess Medea. <gasps> what stuff and nonsense is this? Father, if this is your idea of a joke, I am not amused. You think I would joke about something like this? Dear Goddess, you really are a nitwit. You think I don't know what you did? <gasps> Young fool. How did I ever think you were mature enough to marry? As your antics clearly demonstrate, you're still a child. Come along, we're going back to Argonia. It's time I taught you some hard lessons about life, boy. Um... Father told me what happened. I know you went to King Clavius and asked him to reconsider my union with Prince Charmos. Thank you. You saved me yet again, like you always do. You never let anything daunt you, do you? Just being near you makes me feel twice as strong. You're my rock. No, you're more than that. But let us make this the last time. I must take the strength you've given me and learn to forge my own path in life. And... And you must too. You have your own life to lead and I want you to lead it. I want you to devote yourself to the one in your heart, just as she will to you. <laughs> Pardon me for interrupting your majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. 
Open the doors! The bride is ready to enter! Honored guests, with regret, I must inform you that my son, Prince Charmels, and Princess Medea of Trodane will not now be joined in matrimony. I would like to offer my sincerest apologies to all who have come here to celebrate their nuptials. Nevertheless, we will bear witness to a joyful union this day, that of my young nephew here and his delightful bride. Let us all celebrate their marriage together and wish the young couple every happiness for the future. <laughs> well... It was a bit of a squeeze getting into this dress, but how do I look? After you got back to the inn last night, Princess Medea asked for me. When I went to see her, she told me the wedding was off and asked if I wouldn't mind getting married instead. I thought she was joking at first, but then King Trode said the same thing, and King Clavius too. I was just about to tell them that I'd rather die than marry Charmels when Medea explained what she meant. And before I knew it, I was trying on this dress. Then Mum turned up, and Bangers and Mash too. My head's still spinning. It all happened so fast. But, well, I love you. I'm not sure since when. But I suddenly realized, you're all I think about. I wanted to tell you, but I was sure you only had eyes for Princess Medea, so I decided to keep my feelings to myself. That is, until she told me that you were in love with someone else. When I heard that, I couldn't help hoping. And that's when I decided, I don't want to go on pretending. Burying my feelings isn't going to change what my heart is telling me. I think... I think you're the one. But what about you? Am I really the person you want to be with for the rest of your life? If not, I'll understand. Just... just tell me, okay? I want to hear it from you. I want to know how you really feel. My hero! Jessica, I won't say another word about your choices in life. My only wish is for you and your new husband to be happy. Mum, that, that really means a lot to me. She's a willful one. But you know that already, I suppose. Take care of her. Wow! Congratulations, Jessica! It's gonna be boring back home without you, but you'll still come and visit us, right? Actually, I was thinking of staying for a while. We've barely stopped since I left to avenge Alistair's death. 
I could do with a rest. Really? Woohoo! Oh, and you. I mean, um, Mr. Jessica. I'll let you off this time, but if you ever make Jessica cry again, me and Mash will really let you have it. Come on then, everyone's waiting outside.
Great Alexandra, grant us your blessing and watch over us until the end of our days. I can't believe how much has happened since I first met you and the others here. You know, I really wasn't sure about you at first. I thought you were a bit of a pushover, always doing what other people told you. But then, when you saved me from Rapthorn's curse, I started to see you in a different light. Before I knew it, I felt like I could rely on you like I used to rely on Alistair. And the longer we spent together, the more my feelings grew until I realized I'd fallen for you. <laughs> it all seems like a lifetime ago already. Just too much has happened. Anyway, we should be getting back to the house. To our house. I am so happy right now. Just think. From now on, I can come to you for everything. Right, hubby? <laughs> <laughs> 